Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. Aboard the International Space Station, Expedition 41 flight engineers Reed Wiseman of NASA and Alexander Gerst of the European Space Agency donned U.S. spacesuits for an October 7th spacewalk to relocate a failed cooling pump and to install a backup power cable device for the station's rail car system. The failed pump was replaced with a spare and is being temporarily stowed near the Quest airlock, and the backup power cables are for the unlikely event that the mobile transporter rail car on the station's truss loses power. A news briefing at NASA headquarters on October 9th outlined the space and Earth-based assets that will have an opportunity to study a comet's close flyby of Mars later this month. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, Kepler spacecraft, and others will be watching on October 19th when Comet C-2013A1 Siding Spring zips by the red planet only 88,000 miles away from it. That's less than half the distance between us and our moon and less than one-tenth the distance of any known comet flyby of Earth. Observations of the comet could yield fresh clues about our solar system's earliest days. Astronomers using NASA's Nuclear Spectroscopic Telescope Array, or NUSTAR, have found a pulsating dead star beaming with the energy of about 10 million suns. The pulsar, a dense stellar remnant left over from a supernova explosion, is the brightest ever recorded. The discovery is helping astronomers better understand mysterious sources of blinding X-rays called ultraluminous X-ray sources, which until now were thought to be black holes. The year's second total lunar eclipse in the early morning hours on October 8th was visible in the Pacific Ocean and bordering regions. A lunar eclipse happens when Earth blocks sunlight that would normally reflect off the moon. This total lunar eclipse produced what's known as a blood moon because of its reddish color. The last eclipse of 2014, a partial solar eclipse on October 23rd, will be widely visible from Canada and the U.S. NASA's Lunar Atmosphere and Dust Environment Explorer, or LADI mission, won Popular Mechanics 2014 Breakthrough Award. The award, which recognizes innovation in science and technology, was given for the spacecraft's modular general purpose design, which could drastically reduce the cost of spacecraft development, much like assembly line production did for automobiles. NASA's Ames Research Center designed and built LADI, which orbited the moon for 100 days to study the dust environment of the lunar atmosphere. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov.